for a skit that I'm working on, I needed a prop cannon for, for this little puppet show. And I wanted it to actually be able to shoot air out. And we're going to put baby powder in it so it gets a nice little, uh, little burst. And, um, but I didn't want to use any like compressors or, or anything like that. So, and I wanted it to be able to be reset for each show if we do live shows um, at schools or wherever it may be. So this is what I came up with. So what I, what I used was, you've probably seen these. I had one a long time ago when I was younger. One of these Arizukas. Okay. That's what the unit looks like. Okay, and what you do is you pull back on, on this little toggle, you let go, and it's like this trash bag that pushes the air out and shoots this ball of air. It's actually pretty cool. Had a lot of fun with it before. I used that, a bowl, and, um, and some other little uh, Tupperware container to make this cannon. What's nice about it, it's really light. You can hold it with one hand. It probably weighs like seven to ten pounds, something like that. So you can kind of, if you look at it long enough, you can definitely see the different pieces that this back unit here is the whole metal bowl. The center part here is the is the Arizuka. And this part here was the um, the Tupperware. And I also used a little bit of EVA foam to fill this out, fill it out there. And of course the bottom is all wood. It's a wood base, plywood. Uh, one inch on the bottom and half inch on the sides. So it came together really nicely. But like I said, the best thing about it is it does actually shoot. It's completely functional, okay? Oh, that's what I should say inside. You can't really see it because it's dark, but there's like a little uh, wire mesh colander in there so that when I put the baby powder in, it doesn't go all the way in. So it can really sit at the front and be pushed out. So works pretty well. Let me, I'll fill it up. I'll load it up with some baby powder first to show you couple of squeeze there okay and now here's how the unit works in the back let me show you this is the little toggle holder that I made this is PVC pipe so I cut a little ridge out there to catch the puller okay so this string is on there because I can't reach in there and pull back on the, the trigger here so I pull this back and that little green tip comes out okay I'll pull it back now I take this and I slide that right over it like this. And now it's ready, okay? So all I have to do is pull down on this string and uh, that will release it and it should shoot out. Let's test it. Ready? Fire in the hole! Here it goes. And you get a nice little burst. Okay. So let me do one right at the camera too. Let me re reload it. Go. Get a little better view, maybe. Okay. Pull down on it and get a nice little. So it's a cute little thing for the for the show, and uh, hope you guys like it. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, considering I was really making it on the fly. Um, you know, if I would go back, there's some little things I do differently, but for you know, for just a you know, one day build really, it came together really nicely. So stick around, maybe you'll see it in action in a show. I'll keep you posted.